The struggle is real, folks. It's really real. Like, real, real, real. So real. I keep trying to film for my Skillshare course. It's my very first course. I've never done one. I'm super excited about it. I got great feedback when I sent in my outline to Skillshare. So I am pumped and I am determined to get this done because I also have a bit of nerves about it. Um, I have had a lot of resistance to doing this in the past and it's prevented me from doing a Skillshare class. So this time I want to make sure it happens. Except I did not plan accordingly, of course. So I keep running into issues of my camera battery dying. Originally I was going to film it on my phone and then I realized I should actually probably film it on my nice DSL camera just to make sure that the quality of the video is really good. So I didn't plan to do this, but because of that I did not charge the battery so it keeps dying on me and I keep having to do it in chunks as I'm racing the daylight as the sun is going down because it is afternoon headed into evening. The other issue that I just ran into is the memory card was full so I had to take that out real quick and pull some videos off of it really quickly and then delete those and delete some other images. So this has been an ordeal for sure but I am determined to get this done and make it happen. I am so close to the end of my outline and of my course and I just hope that it's usable content but ah! <laughs> so we'll see how this goes I will report back in soon good morning sun how are you skies above Gee, it's great to be alive and love losing my mind. It's a distinct possibility. Let's go redo our lipstick. Much better. The other race of time, race hands time that I am struggling with that is kind of a big one and why I also want to get this done today is those two little angels back there. They are just sleeping. Sleeping hours away. I technically should have given them food like 45 minutes ago, but they haven't asked for it yet. And I'm just trying to take advantage of this time that they're not talking to me or clawing things or <laughs> running around attacking each other or anything like that. So, ooh. <laughs> I'm just hoping that they'll stay asleep as long as possible. I was almost done. I got a little bit further this time. Um, I probably have three more sections left to film of my course and of course my battery died again so that's charging for a little bit and in the meantime I'm transferring some files from the memory card over to my computer um, yeah and then tonight I will set it up so that it can upload all of those files to my Google Drive um, my internet has been real problematic. I have to get that fixed too. So I think I'm just going to wait and do that overnight so that it can take as long as it needs and I don't have to worry about not using up bandwidth. So I have a little bit of a plan now. It's just whether or not that plan will go according to the plan as things so often don't. Now we're going to cover some SEO basics. Now SEO is a huge broad topic with so much information that is constantly changing. We are not going to go full in depth on this, but I do want to cover some of the basic information about it so you have a better understanding of how to utilize it for your post or your article. Good morning, 
Now that he's awake, he recognizes he's hungry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Guys, that was a struggle. I even got to my last section, the final thoughts section, where I am just recapping what I talked about and thanking people for taking my course. And the battery ran out one last time. So I had to charge it for just a few minutes so that I could do that two or three minute video thanking people for taking my course. <laughs> so that took probably two hours to do. But you know what? It's done. I did it. I filmed my first online course. I think there's still stuff that I'm going to need to film or record on my computer for like a screen share. But Otherwise, that's a huge chunk of it done. And I definitely learned a lot from that process. Yeah, I think I'm going to let that stew for a second while I feed the cat and I'll maybe move the camera so I'm not hunched over here. But yeah, I'm going to tell you guys about that uh, process and what I learned because that was really interesting. Whew, okay. Now we're more relaxed. I also went ahead and made myself some quick and dirty guacamole. And by quick and dirty, I mean like I didn't put onion in it because I'm just really hungry. And the avocado's also, it was a half of avocado, so it might be a little too ripe. We'll see how this goes. It's a little squishy, but it's fine. I might add some more lime to it in a moment. I also made myself a margarita because I have earned one. That also might need more lime. Anyway, so things that I learned in that filming process. Whew, planning. First off, I thought I was planned ahead, but again, I did not charge my battery, nor did I clear out my memory card. So those are things I'm gonna have to keep in mind for next time. Um, I just, as far as the memory card goes, I just kind of assumed that I would have enough space for all of those videos, but Turns out I did not. And actually on that note, that made me realize that I think I'm gonna need to purchase at least one more disc specifically for filming. Um, and then probably a secondary battery just to have on hand. Um, I plan to keep doing Skillshare, cor Skillshare courses. I've been talking so much I can't talk anymore. Um, I already have my next one planned and this whole battery running out ordeal was really annoying. <laughs> so if I had a second battery that was charged, I think that would help significantly. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have to find some money for that stuff and see how much. Hopefully it's not too expensive, but we'll see. The other thing that I learned is that my outline was really, really helpful. Um, I had written a first draft of the outline and it was pretty vague, honestly. And then I went back through and redid it and really fleshed it out. And uh, I sent that into Skillshare and they gave me really great feedback, um, pretty much saying that I was good to go on that one. Um, so hopefully my videos came out well, but having the planning done ahead of time of what I was going to be teaching and talking about was so helpful because I knew exactly what points I needed to hit. Um, yeah, so fingers crossed. I really hope I don't go in to edit my video and then find that I need to refilm it because again, this was an ordeal, <laughs> but I feel pretty good about it. Even if I do have to go back and redo it, I still feel pretty good about the, the process and I feel like I learned a lot. Another thing that I wasn't really sure of to start with, which makes sense, is how long this would take. Um, 
Of course it took longer because of all of the issues that I ran into, but that's also just something that's good to plan for is, uh, you know, problems come up all the time. So I think this took me probably two hours, it was probably more than two hours, that was probably closer to like two and a half to three hours total, again, because of all the issues and everything that came up. I also had to do some setup, um, just kind of making sure my background looked nice. So currently all the objects that are usually on those two things are over there <laughs> off screen. Um, so I'm going to have to put all those back. But just, yeah, little things that you have to keep in mind um, to make sure that it looks good. Um, also, talking was a thing. I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with talking, but there were a few times where I had to go back and start over what I was saying because I messed the sentence up or I flubbed on my words enough that I felt like it would affect the video. And fortunately, because I have been doing YouTube videos and editing those, I understand that you have to look for breaks in conversation or in, you know, what you're saying. Um, so with that, I would flub a word or I would say something and I was like, oh, that's not what I meant to say. And I'd have to think back to what was the last pause that I had? Where did I start this? train of thought or something like that and go back to that point and start there. Um, just because I know, especially because I'm editing on my phone, I can't do really like fine tune cutting and editing. Um, I have to have those pauses. So that was something that was interesting and something that, to keep in mind is that's, I'm going to have to incorporate that into any of my courses in the future and how I film them is I need to make sure that there are breaks so that if I do mess up, I don't have to go over and start the whole section over. The whole Skillshare thing is kind of broken up into sections anyway, so that already really helps. Um, but yeah, that was just an interesting thing to realize. I also came up with an interesting technique to start using because sometimes I will you know, just while I'm talking, even right now, I'll look down or away from the camera when I'm thinking, but I'm still talking, I'm still filming. Um, and so trying to figure out where to cut the clips without having to watch the whole thing through can get a little tricky. So what I did for a few parts uh, when I was filming is I would just hold this up to signal to myself when I'm editing that this is a space between conversation or you know the teaching this is a spot where I can cut because um, also because I'm editing on my phone it is much more manageable if I can just edit small chunks once you start getting over a minute long of a clip it's a little more challenging to fine-tune just even trimming down the edges of the video um, or cutting out a small chunk that needs to be cut out things like that so if I can make sure that my clips are more manageable in like one second or, or one, <laughs> one second, one minute or less, uh, that's ideal. But to do that, you have to do the first cut. So hopefully this will help. I didn't do it the whole time through, so we'll see how that goes. But just having that flash of color, hopefully that'll give me a good spot to go in and trim that down. Yeah, otherwise that was kind of what I learned from the filming process. Um, can't think of anything else at the moment, but definitely I'm interested to see once I get in and start editing. And like I said, I'm going to have to do some more recording of my screen um, just for showing examples and things like that. I am low key afraid that the videos are going to be longer than I anticipated just because that tends to naturally happen if you have done videos or if you've given speeches or anything you probably know that it is very easy to talk and it doesn't feel like it's that long and then suddenly you look at the time and you're like oh no it's twice as long as I thought it was going to be great <laughs> so we'll see how that goes um but yeah otherwise I mean that's just kind of what I learned from putting together my first Skillshare course so I'll continue to share the journey, but yeah, 
Don't forget, if you are liking this information and you're liking this video, to go subscribe, hit that like button because it helps with the algorithm. Um, and let me know if you have any questions or anything like that that aren't answered in this video. It's too much cilantro in my guacamole too. It's not great, I'm not gonna lie, it's not great, but it's food. Maybe I just need to drink more of my margarita first.